In the final mission of GTA 5, as you know, we were chasing Trevor to kill him in option A, and eventually Trevor gets cornered and we take care of him. So what happens if we kill Michael instead of Trevor in option A? When we aim at Michael, the game doesn't allow us to shoot him. As you can see, I'm trying to shoot Michael right now, but I can't harm him in any way. And of course, since we're not shooting Trevor for a while, Michael ends up killing him. This method didn't work, so let's try other methods. I started the mission from the beginning and got to this part again. Now let's try changing the weapon. Oh no, we can't even change the weapon. So what if we explode this car? Oops. The game interpreted it as shooting Trevor. We need to try another method. What if we spawn a car here? For that, we need a cheat menu. Let's spawn an Infernus. Here it is, let's see what happens when we crush Michael. Oh, we can't crush him, we just pass through. This shouldn't be like this. What if we shoot? Nope, we still can't harm Michael. We can't even harm Trevor. Haha, -ha, when the cutscene started, the Infernus ended up on Trevor and created a weird scene. Anyway, let's find another way then. By the way, I blocked the road. Let's see what Trevor will do. Trevor, don't! Wahoo! He crashed so badly! This was awesome! Now, let's try to delete Michael. No, I can't delete Michael. As you can see, I can select the car and Franklin, but I can't select Michael. This didn't work either. Let's exaggerate this time and spawn a fighter jet. Okay, now let's use this jet to shoot Michael. I'm trying to hit Michael, but as you can see, I'm not hitting him. So, if we remove the gun, can we kill Michael with punches? Yes. When we unequip the weapon, Franklin can throw punches, but we can't move. Franklin, stop! You're attacking the wrong guy. You're supposed to attack Michael, not Trevor. So this didn't work either. Let's unequip Franklin's gun and give him a grenade. Right now, Franklin has no weapon. Oh, finally, he could grab a grenade. Let's throw it at Michael and see what happens. Yes, we managed to kill Michael. However, since Michael died, the mission failed. And when we return to the checkpoint, we start from the same point. So it turns out it's possible to kill Michael. But there are no interesting events or glitches in the game. That's how we learned the answer to the question we were curious about. Thanks for watching. If you want me to try something else, you can write it in the comments. See you in the next video.